Hello everyone, today I will show you how to set up your Netgear router, RAX50. And before I begin, I want to remind you that if you found this video helpful, please buy me a drink. Every pint of beer helps me in the creation of more valuable content for you. So, the first step is to power on the router. Connect one end of the power adapter to a wall socket, and the other end to the router. Then press the power button. Once it's on, an indicator will light up. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. Now, connect a cable from your broadband provider or from your modem to a special internet port. This port is often called internet and is usually a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks into place. Now, you need to reset the router to the factory settings. Press and hold the reset button on the router for 10 seconds until the indicator lights on the router begin to flash. Sometimes, the button is located inside the router casing to avoid accidental pressing. In this case, use a thin object to press on it. The router will reboot and the settings will return to the factory defaults. Plug one end of the Ethernet cable provided with the router into a LAN port. Plug the other end into your computer or laptop's Ethernet card. Please, wait a few minutes for connection. Great, the router is now connected to your computer. Now, you will need to set it up. But before we begin, I will demonstrate an alternative way to connect the router if you don't have an Ethernet cable or your computer doesn't have an Ethernet port. Just connect the router to the power adapter and the cable from your internet provider. This will enable Wi-Fi. If the router is new and has never been configured, the Wi-Fi network will be named as your router. Your router has a unique Wi-Fi network name and password that is printed on a label. Connect to it. Great, you've connected to the router. Now let's start setting it up. First, open your browser and go to the URL that you see on the screen. Use the address bar, not the search bar. At the beginning, click here. Then read Netgear terms and conditions and click I agree button. And click next. Click next again. If your router's settings don't look like my settings, it means that your router has different firmware. I have created a video for every type of firmware. You can find all the links to them in the description down below. First thing you need to do is set up a new password. The admin password is used to log into your router's web interface. Pay attention to the password requirements. Type a new password in the first field and repeat it in the second field. Next, choose two security questions and write answers to them. You need them in case you need to reset the admin password. On this page, you can change your network name and password. Click Next. If your browser does not redirect after two minutes, reload the page. The next page will contain the data for connecting to a Wi-Fi network. If you are connected using the preset Wi-Fi credentials, it's time to connect using the new Wi-Fi credential. If you want, you can print them out. Click Next. 
If the router hasn't been updated in a while, the next page might initiate the firmware update. If the new firmware is not available, click Next. After updating the firmware, you may be redirected to the Netgear website, where you can register your router. If you want to, you can do it. I won't do that, so I'll just close this window. Log into the router's web interface again, if you were logged out of it. Enter the standard username admin and password that you created a few minutes ago. Press sign in button. Close this window. In the upper right corner, you can change the language of the router's web interface. To access the internet, go to Advanced. Set up Wizard. Press No. I want to configure the router myself. Then press Next button. Select Internet Settings on the next page. In most cases, there are two options, connection with and without a login. Almost always, your internet connection will not require a login. You can find this information in your internet service provider contract. If your internet connection does not require a login, or you do not know whether require a login or not, select No. Leave account name and domain name unchanged. Then in Internet IP Address section, choose Get Dynamically from ISP. In the DNS section, select Get Automatically from ISP as well. If your internet service provider only allows access to a specific MAC address, you must copy the MAC address of the main computer. If you are not sure about these settings, select the Use the Default MAC Address option. Check again that your settings are the same as mine. And click Apply. There is no need to clone the MAC address in most cases. But if you can't get an internet connection after the quick setup, later, in the video I will show you how to clone MAC address. Now you need to reboot the router. To do this, go to the router's web interface if you were logged out of it. Go to Advanced. Advanced Home. Click on the Reboot button. And click Yes. After restarting your device, wait a few minutes and attempt to search for something on Google. If it's failed, then check all the cables. They must be connected correctly. Then log into the router control panel again. Go to basic. Internet. And choose use computer MAC address. Click Apply button. And then, Reboot Router again. Go to Advanced. Advanced Home. Click on the Reboot button. And click Yes. After restarting your device, wait a few minutes and attempt to search for something on Google. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. You can buy me a coffee. Half of all coffees I send to animal shelters. All details are in the description down below.